Okay, so I just put up some releases for DriveWire 4. Uh, these releases um, are available uh, for download. They include a Java runtime environment, so there is no need to install Java. They also include the SWT libraries and they also include the RxTx libraries. So right now I'm, we're, I'm running Windows in a virtual machine. And I'll show you I do not have Java installed here. Okay, no Java. So for me to run DriveWire on here, I could just go to github.com. I'll put the uh, link for that in the description. And we just scroll down. Now, there are a bunch of uh, downloads here you can download for uh, Linux, for Linux ARM, for Windows, Mac OS X. There's also one here that does not include a GRE that should run on all of them, or, or rather these four listed here. But let's download the Windows version. Okay, let me just scroll down, download the zip file. We open the location, we unzip it. All right, and once that's done, you can just go into the folder and you'll see a batch file here. And this will run it. Just double click on it. Not to rename it, of course, but to run it. Allow it to run. And again, it's gonna take a little bit to start up because this is running in a virtual machine. But what you should see is DriveWire 4 come up and you may also see Windows complaining that it's running some unknown program and you have to allow it to run. But anyhow, here it is. <clears throat> it just started up and looks good. Server activity. Nice page here. And that's how easy it is to use it. You can see things like the simple config wizard work. We'll choose Coco 2 detected COM1, so on and so forth. So there you go. Hopefully that will help you install and run DriveWire 4. Okay, here I'm going to download it for Linux 64-bit x86 and run it. So again, here's the site. I'll put that down in the description and we'll go to the release for this computer and OS. Here it is, describes what to do, the script to run, download the zip file. Okay. Unzip it. Okay. And this is the one we run. Now, some systems you can double click on it. This one, I sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. But, you know, just open it up in a terminal. You can list what's in there. Here it is. Green means that it's executable. And you can do, you know, you can see that the executable bit is, uh, is set. But if it's not executable and you can't run it, you can do a chmod or schmod plus x to make it executable. And then you just write, you know, and that makes it executable. Okay, but anyways, all you gotta do, remember period forward slash, that's important. Okay, to run it. And this should be the same on a Mac. You should do the same thing on a Mac and it should work. I don't have a Mac to do this with, but you know, it should work on a Mac. So I hit enter, boom, boom, boom. There's DriveWire. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Enjoy.